Hey, excellent. No, I'm glad you're happy. I'm glad you're happy. You don't have to send me out anything. I appreciate it. No, no, we treat all our customers like that. I don't need a massage. You know what? If you want to send me out one, send me out a gift certificate. I'll send it to my friend, Dr. Al. He'd love that. He goes all the time. Oh, oh hey, I gotta go. Talk to you soon. Good morning, being nice day for 128 Plumbing. Just want to invite you into my office here. Say hi to everyone and thank you. About the last 10 years I've been a member of BNI, very proud of it. And I got a little production today, some videos before and after. I'd like to thank Mike Caruccio. <laughs> hey, Chris Good, what's up, man? Yeah, so we're going to show some videos, kind of explain the before and after. Hey, well, I'll get to you in a second. All right, brother. So stay tuned and watch the show. Thanks again, folks. Hey, it's Dave again back here from uh, Newburyport. Basically, we just uh, eliminated this old boiler right here. It's an old oil fired. As you can see, we're actually going to take it out in sections. Due to they eliminated the bulkhead in this house, they put a dish off the back of the house, which is common. We have to deal with this once in a while. Not, not a big deal. You can see we eliminated supply and return. So we're actually going to take this boiler and get into sections to get it up to the stairs across the living room floor and back outside for salvage so we got that going on we also have the oil tank over here you can see on top we already got the uh, supply and vent already eliminated we're going to plug that this will all come out in one piece and let me show you over to the new boiler we relocated the other side of the home a couple of factors is it was the closest place for the flu and it was the closest place for the gas and now with the old equipment was they have more room for storage which is close to the basement stairs so you can see we have an indirect fired hot water heater you can see a couple of circulators up top we're manifolding right across supply and return primary secondary loop we have our boiler you can see the flue nice and short right up to the side of the home and the gas also comes in nice and tight one inch full size, straight down, tied in. You can see we already got the inspection sticker here, so we're ready. This is already fired off. That's been up and running for a couple of hours now. We're just fine tuning it, taking out calibrations and adjustments. Another good view of this. So this job actually worked out real well. So we did an oil to gas conversion, which will save the homeowners a ton of money on energy. The old equipment was so old it really wasn't even worth repairing, so it's kind of a unique scenario here. It's in the middle of winter, so we actually are running this off of propane for the next couple of months. Early spring, they can make natural gas line into the home, we'll convert them back over to natural gas. So the homeowner was able to take advantage of all the tax credits, rebates, programs, everything they had. So they'll be saving thousands and thousands of dollars their first year. So this is a pretty cool job. You can see the equipment's right on top of the boiler block. So, again, we're up in Newburyport, putting the final stages on this. The guy's did an awesome job. Homeowner's very excited. You can see right behind it, we actually framed our own wall to mount the controls. Boiler's mounted right on top of the panel. So there's nothing loose. We don't have to worry about any type of shaking, vibration. And this uh, boiler has a standstill heat exchanger. This hot water tank has a stainless steel heat exchanger, so they're going to get in years and years of longevity and maintenance-free service. And that should do it. 128 signing off. Hey, it's Dave from 128. We're doing a uh, conversion here from oil to gas furnace with air conditioning. You can see underneath here the pan has been rotted out. The customer's having an issue with water draining onto the floor. The old school galvy pan had rotted out. So we're going to be changing this unit over to a gas fire. And as you can tell, it's stuck inside a closet. So we're going to have Sean and his crew work their magic. And it'll be done by 11 o'clock. Hey, it's Dave again from 128. Back in Wilmington. Just doing the final on the new gas fired warm air furnace. Literally into a foam booth. So we took out an old oil system. That was puffing and smoke. We put in a 95% efficient gas furnace. You can see right on top here, we have it's prepped for air conditioning. We're outside right now, tying in the AC. You can see the two pipes of the PVC coming in and out. That's the exhaust. All the ductwork is wrapped. All around to the turn. 
is a condensate pump. So this is an excellent install. Put them right inside the closet here. Can't get much tighter than that. So homeowner is very happy and uh, they will be saving a tremendous amount of money this season on their heating bill from converting from oil to gas. Again, it's 128. So we can get that logo. There we go. This is 128 signing off. We have a radon system. We're going to put the radon system back in. The woods to help them protect from obviously water damage. A little bit. Well, add some seal with the hair, make it a little bit tighter for them. So I just want to put that on the uh, first recording. The existing radon system. Go underneath the stairs. Go underneath the stairs. Move up the oil tank. So we get right behind the system. We got the board. All the way back to the bulkhead. We seal all the seams, left it overnight. So today we're just going to take off the tape. And the stairs. Okay. okay. Actually, here's under and behind the stairs. Okay. So we actually have a full perimeter system, which you never see. Okay. Again, here's the oil tank. We moved it off to the side. Have a temp oil line. Okay. This takes us right around again to the basement door. So I just want to give you a quick view. Keep it posted, but you can see all the wall panels. Complete perimeter system. You know, sn sneak in just for a quick job, and five years later, hey, it's you know your problem. The system will outlast all of us. It'll be this gentleman will right up back up to the bulkhead. We'll level it right across, so it's actually flush. So when he builds his wall up in this area, it gives you a good view of the existing floor, the gravel. And that's it. Right up to the back again. We're very very happy with this. Job. Forty years old. You can see all four of them right here. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking all four old units off the his roof. job. So we're actually going to do this in two stages. The new units are a lot larger, a lot more efficient. So now, as you can see over to here, uh, challenge here. We've already prepped them, ready to be He's going to lower right down to the deck, and the salvage guy will take it away. We'll fall this one right down to the ground. Strap, prep, ready to hoist up. This is a seven and a half ton. The roofer came in, prepped everything for us. We're going to do a lift tomorrow morning. So we're ready to go. We have our pressure treated lumber for underneath as skirts. He's back. Hi everyone. Hope you found the videos informative. If you have any questions at all, please just give me a call. I'd like to give a special thank you to Heidi Bond and her team for building these great meetings every week. Just remember, one more thing folks, keep your plumbing humming.